Hello, happy Monday, happy Dream Team Zoom. Um, hopefully you guys are here because of the title today. Also, I'm sure it's on your bingo card, but we're gonna talk about being aligned with your goals because we talk a lot about goal setting. We talk a lot about like digging to your why and all that stuff. <clears throat> but I find that sometimes, even though I've dug and dug and dug and I feel like it's a really great goal, Sometimes I realize two weeks, two months later, I'm not actually chasing that goal. So if I really truly think about it, is it a goal, right? Like, is it a priority? So for fun, we're going to kick off today. I would like for you, if possible, on a sheet of paper or on your phone, whatever's convenient for you, I want you to list your top three priorities in life. I know that's a big, it's a big question, but the top three priorities just in your life right now. Like as you've gone through different stages of your life, your priorities have probably changed. 20 year old Tammy and almost 50 year old Tammy, she's very different priorities. So just today in this moment of time, what would you say the top three things that you are focused on in your life? And we'll give you a couple minutes to think about it and seal up these dog treats because I got the dogs in their kennel. I know that sound. Does anybody feel comfortable sharing their top three? You don't have to, you can type it or you can unmute, whatever. Faith, number one. Can you hear me? Yeah, faith. Okay, faith, God, family, friends, second. And number three, living with purpose. Okay, those are good. Anybody else wanna share? Faith, family, health. Faith, family, health. Lisa Cook says, my relationship with Jesus, be debt-free, and Rachel's wedding. <laughs> oh, Rachel. Anybody else want to share? You don't have to. Mine are oh. faith, invest, and paying off debt. I like it. Okay. So, with that in mind, keep your number one what what you said your number one priority right now in your life is and now I want you to think about the last 10 days of your life and tell me how much time you've actually dedicated to that number one thing so I heard faith for a lot so how much how much time have you been in prayer how many times have you been to church how many times have you read devotionals how many times you know like have you done something for your faith in the last 10 days? Oh, Lisa said seven. Good job, girl. So in that case, I would say that Lisa's goal is aligned with her because she's actually, she has a goal that she's actually done for seven whole days. Like she's done something every day for seven days. Okay, so I, I don't remember who or how many, but I heard health. So if health is your top priority, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take away the fact that you take Thrive, okay? You can't say because you took Thrive capsules this morning and had a shake that you're working on your health. <clears throat> if health was there, how much time every day or in the past 10 days have you dedicated to your health? Whether it's working out, Maybe it's therapy, like oh, there's mental health and physical health, changing the way you eat or just meal prepping, um, you know, that kind of thing. Because I'll be the first one to tell you that there are days that I would tell you that my health is a big priority. But then if I looked back at my week, I'd be like, hmm, how much time did I actually dedicate to my priority? Rhonda says, not enough time on my faith or my health. So she's feeling out of alignment, right? That like, you know, when there is something that is a true goal for you, but when you look over what you've done, you realize you're not in it as much as you want to be. And that's when you feel out of alignment. There's also the flip version of that, where maybe you're spending a lot of time doing something that you would never have called a priority, but you spent so much time doing it. 
and then you feel out of alignment also, right? Okay, so let's flip this on its head. What are your top three priorities for your business? Again, you can share them if you feel comfortable. Unmute, type, whatever. Top three priorities for your business. Like I'll tell you, my number one top priority for my business is to have people know about it, like to grow my network. So if, in case you're like looking for, you know. Well, I'm like consistency always. And my Thrive and Mingles, I've got them all scheduled and um i'm super excited about them Good. and um i have been getting on to like different like not just our team zooms but like on maria's and other people's and watching because you can always learn new things and maria's got a lot of trainings and stuff on hers that we can learn from okay. i'm trying to watch something every day on her page okay so the consistency would be the dedication to yeah your the thriving yeah. angle to me is making people aware, right? Mm -hmm. Educating. And then on the opposite side of educating is educating yourself. So learning and training. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So let's break those down for anyone who's, because no one else has chimed in. Um, oh, and I've already forgot what the first one was, Carolyn, help me. Oh, dedication, <sighs> consistency. Jeez. Okay. So if consistency in your business is a top priority for you over the last 10 days, how consistent have you been, right? If building your network is a top priority for you over the last 10 days, how many new people have you reached out to? How many things have you done um, to market your business, such as making a reel, doing a thrive and mingle, like, you know, the different things that we do to get the word out there over the last 10 days, how many of those have you done? And then as far as your own education, over the last 10 days, how many trainings have you set through or, and it doesn't always have to be a Lavelle training. Like sometimes people will come to me and say, how do you make a TikTok or how do you use CapCut? YouTube. I spent some time on YouTube, right? So there comes a point where you do have to teach yourself some things. Um, so anybody want to share if your top three actually aligned with your activity? And I think too, that when you get, you, you start feeling down, you need to connect with yeah. someone Staying connected, you know, and just say, I'm having a rough day and then, you know, get through it yeah. and move on for Don't sure. dwell on it. Yeah. Using your community, I think is really important here. Mm -hmm. Rhonda, what were you going to say there? I'm going to say, I agree with Carolyn. Um, you have to stay plugged in to trainings, things like this. It's very rare. I do anything live. Um, just with my schedule, I do yeah. a lot of replays, but I had a time where I just, I really wasn't connecting. And when I started connecting again, I'm like, this was one of the pieces I was missing. So it's one of those, you might know how to do the do, you might even be doing the do, but be connected. Um, you can always learn. And maybe it's just a little thing you tweak that makes a difference. But um, I know I've been working on my Thrive and Mingles as well. And yeah. Um, you know, I am going to do all 20 virtual. The live ones are a lot harder, yeah. um, but the virtual, uh, if you're on this or you're listening to this, there is no reason that not every single promoter gets those rewards because they're not that hard. Mm -hmm. No, amen to that. Amen. Yeah, our community here is very strong. So Samantha has always called it staying close to the fire. And it's really true. Like if you think about like when you get excited about a hobby, and you start Googling about it and you start buying supplies or magazines or whatever that connects to the hobby and you're in the hobby and you're dreaming about the hobby and you're doing the hobby. Like you're in it, like, right. Like you are in it. And a lot of people, when they start their Lavelle business, you're in it, you're excited. You've got the thrive. You can't shut up about it. You're meeting all these new people. You're hopping on zooms for the first time and you are like in it. And then you get a little, you take a step back away from the fire because 
Maybe somebody made fun of you. Maybe one of your reels got a nasty comment. Maybe you didn't get a great paycheck one week. Maybe a customer canceled an auto ship. And then because you've taken a step back from those things and you're not still in it, you're not close to the fire, you start to get cold, right? And so it's at that moment when if you start to feel out of your routine, um, out of sorts, whatever you want to call it, you start to feel like, eh, my business, you got to You got to You got to step back into that fire. And that is one way for sure to do that is to stay consistent and to stay close to your community for sure. So that's really, those are really good priorities. Does anybody else have a business priority that you're like, gosh, that's a priority for me. But now that I'm thinking about my last 10 days, maybe it's not, <laughs> or not that it's not, it's just that you need more time with it. I need to be more um, confident about, I get, <laughs> I have like all this anxiety when I go to go um, live with somebody, like when I go to do a Thrive and Mingle, because I'm so scared it's not going to connect. Yeah, you got PTSD with technology. I You've <laughs> earned it. We've all earned that one. Yeah, hey. so that's, that's what I'm working on to go. You know what? The worst that can happen is I can just leave and come back and try yep. again. Yep. I've restarted many, many lives before. I okay. have restarted many as well. It's frustrating, but I'll just start and say, okay, take two. We're trying this again. Take exactly. three, maybe the third time. <laughs> so just, just at some point say I'm ending this, but hang on. I'm coming back because yeah. Yeah, technology. Just, that's one of those things where you just, um, there's, to, oh, I forget exactly how the quote goes, but like when you spend time worrying about something, you're basically, you're stressing yourself out twice. Because you're stressing yourself out before it even happens. And then if it actually does happen, then you're going to experience it twice. And yeah, between the internet and Facebook and all the things, you cannot worry about that. You can just start fresh. And honestly, if you start a live and it doesn't go well, you know, technology wise, and you restart it, you can go back and, and delete that first one. Because if you think about it, when you're on live, you're only going to probably get a handful of people, but it's the replays that really, you really want to focus on. So if you do, if you start a live, you get a minute in and it dies just delete it and start all over kind of thing. I, I don't let that kind of stuff sweat you because it's, it's just a, it's just part of it. It's just part of it for sure. Well, and technology, let's just face it. At least you have to think about it this way. We're not being observed. We're not in the classroom and you can delete it and start mm -hmm. over, you know? And so that's the beauty of it. And like Tammy just said, it's the replays. It's those consistent views that you get on those lives. That's what matters. Girl, I tell you, I think I've deleted five in a row before I actually finally got it going. It happens. It happens to all of us. Okay, so the reason that I wanted to, to come to this topic today, I was listening to a podcast and the guy was talking about how he had always felt like his top priorities in life were his health, his family, and his purpose. And when he really sat down and spent some time journaling and thinking, he realized that for somebody who says he was so focused on health, he wasn't spending time moving his body. He wasn't eating the best things. He hadn't been to the doctor in a couple of years for a checkup. So he realized that a lot of the discontent or um, the distractions that he kept throwing at himself, he realized was because he was out of alignment with his goal. So if, so if you think about, and I'm, I'm so bad about this, if I get truly stressed out or like start getting anxious about something, I will pick up my phone and I will start scrolling social media. I will like, literally, I can't think about what, you know, whatever it is I'm worried, I can't think about it. So it's almost like when you're out of alignment, you start getting distracted. And then that leads to that downward spiral. Like I know, and I, cause I know I've talked to some of you before you just get in that funk. And you're like, what is wrong with me? Why am I in such a funk? It's because you're out of alignment with your goals. So he, he, he carried on and mentioned that his family was, had, had, he felt like, like was his reason for breathing. He's like, but when I think about the last 10 days, he had missed a soccer game for work. He hadn't really seen his wife except for at dinner. And when they were at dinner, they were on their phones. Um, like, so he was rattling that stuff off and he's like, and you know, that felt icky to me and felt bad to me and almost to the point where it was like causing an argument with his family but in reality when he sat and thought about it it was just because he was out of alignment with his true goal what he truly wanted to do in his heart and soul 
he wasn't doing in his day-to-day action. So I just, I know that being in business is hard. <laughs> you guys, I have been, um, it was the skinny confidential. They, they call it the him and her podcast, him and her podcast. And it was the one today that they had Jay Shetty on. Um, I know it's hard to be in business. I have been in business for myself since I was 26 years old. There's a part of you that just has to live in delusional land where you just, you just know it's going to work out, right? That's your faith or delusion, whatever you're going to call it. And then there's the other part of you that just has to keep a really, really close eye on what's going on up here because people are going to try to knock you down, whether they mean to or not, right? Life is going to try to knock you down, whether it means to or not, you're going to lose people you love. You're going to be sick. You're going to um, have major distractions in your life. But if you can stay in alignment with your goals and keep focus of that, you're going to come out of that funk or you're going to get back into your routine that much faster. Like, for example, you know, when you lose somebody in your family, like maybe you lose a family member, that's devastating. And by all means, you need time. You need to unplug. You need to go be with your family. You need to, you need to go through those moments. Like I would never deprive anybody of that. But as the days go on, as the days go on, you're going to start feeling that I don't know where to start. I don't know what to do. Sit down and have a talk with yourself. What are my top three goals? What are, what are some, what are some actions I can do today for my top three goals? So if you said, if you said health was your number one goal and you've been in a funk or in a really dark place. And you know your number one health or your your number one priority was health. You could say, what is one thing I could do today to improve my health? And you could take that one step. And it could be as small as drink a glass of water <laughs> or get back into the gym, right? Like whatever it is you're dealing with. And that all, and I know when I'm saying this, you're all like, yes, yes, yes. Okay, put it in your business. If you have been MIA for whatever reason, you fell off the wagon, you had something bad happen, whatever the holidays threw you off. What is your number one goal with your business? What is one step today I can do to get to, like, to, to get to that goal? So if it's consistency and you haven't been showing up for the last, um, I mean, I know we have people that haven't been showing up for the last six weeks because of, and it's not you, because obviously you guys are here, but they haven't been around for the last six weeks because it's summer and they've, they've literally, they've literally been pulled away and allowed themselves to be pulled away, right? We all have those pools but they've allowed themselves to be pulled away and that's okay because if they want to come back, you just have to be able to help them. What is one thing we could do today to move your business forward? They may not have made a Facebook post or an Instagram post or whatever in six weeks about the business, right? So maybe you can help them with that today. That could be the one step, or maybe it's you on the replay because none of these faces. Maybe it's you. Maybe you're like, I'm out of sorts. I fell off the wagon. I was traveling. I was this, I was that. Uh, it, and I, and you know, the other thing too, I think when it comes to business, when you do lose someone, like, like when something tragic happens, it is hard to get back on that wagon at first because you're like, how can I post about thrive when we just put so-and-so in the ground? You know, like it's, it's a real, that's a tough position, but the sun's coming out and life is going to go on. And you are going to still have goals that you, that you need to feel good about and be aligned with. So I want to encourage you. This was actually something I did with my planner year, a uh, couple years ago. And it was the, you were supposed to have your top 10 goals for the month. And every day you did something to take you one step further. Well, honestly, when I first started, I could handle that. But then I think it was maybe during the holidays or something, I got overwhelmed by 10 things. I was like, Phew, Nelly. <laughs> so I put it away for like a month. And then I realized I don't have to fill out all 10. I could pick the top four, the top six, the whatever. I want you to think, what are your top three business goals for that, for just in general, could be for the month, but I would say the top three business goals. And if you put those on the top of your notebook for the day, on the top of your planner for the day, like if your planner says July 8th, next to July 8th, you can write out your top three goals. And then someplace down in that calendar, there should be one step, one to do that's going to happen that connects back to one of those things. So if consistency is one of the things, um, you could say complete 54321, right? If staying close to the fire is one, you could say 
at 3.30, I'm going to watch a replay of a training or I'm going to hop on YouTube and learn how to print my, my friends list off Facebook kind of thing, right? Like actually take an action step, a to-do that connects to your goal and put it in your calendar, not on the day. Like don't, so if you say, oh, this is what I'm going to do on July 8th, that's, that's a start. I want you to say at 1.30 on July 8th, I'm doing this. At five o'clock on July 8th, I'm going to actually put it in your calendar. And I promise you, if you do just one thing for your top three goals every single day, and, I, and that's not a lot. Like when you look at the bingo card, there's 12 things on there, right? If that's overwhelming to you, pull back. What are the top three things that you need to focus on? So like for me, mine is to get the word out about my business. So it's really easy. I could go out right now and I can make a gardening reel. That's not about my business, right? I can make a post about um, my 4th of July weekend. That's not about my business, right? So if I want to talk about my business, I have to talk about my business. I need to put it on there. By 10 a.m., we will have a reel up about of the business. By five o'clock, we will have three things in our story about the business, right? Like you gotta be really specific, but stick to the things that align with your goals and do an audit. Literally take time every now and then to audit yourself. Am I actually doing the things that move me forward? And you'll, you'll know when you're in alignment, like you guys know those days where you wake up and you're like, yes, <laughs> I got this shit. I know exactly what I'm doing. I'm feeling amazing. I'm excited to make this real. I'm excited to be on this live. I'm excited to talk to this customer. And I, like, you know, that's, that's when you know you're in alignment. So if you're not waking up and feeling like that about your Thrive business, you guys, it's your business. You're in control of it. If you're waking up and you're feeling dread or you're feeling anxiety over your own business, the only person that can change that is you. So spend some time with yourself. What do you truly want to do with this business? What are those three priorities for you? And how can you break them down? Does anybody have anything that they want to share or that maybe this has brought up for you or you've thought about? Um, you know, I said, number one is my faith. And then I had to really have a strong talk with myself a couple of days ago and was like, really, how many days are you starting your devotional out in the morning? And so I have intentionally these last few days made sure that I had given myself a good half hour where I'm in my devotional, I'm in my Bible. And when I'm home, y'all know, I don't worry about makeup. I'm usually in grubby shorts, grubby t-shirt and stuff. And this morning I was like, I need to show up for me today. Can't wear makeup really right now because of my eye, whatever. She got some fungus going on. Who knows? But anyway, so, but y'all, I have dressed in grubbies for so long. I was already, I was like halfway dressed on this Zoom. I didn't have on a shirt and I'm like, mm -mm, you need to show up for yourself a little bit better than that. I put on a new cute little fun denim dress I got from Wilma. And I just needed to do that for me to show up for me today and start that day better as myself. Yeah. so that I could go on and do my goals for today. Yeah, no, that's a perfect example because so like, for example, when you get up on say a Saturday morning and you know that you are going to be mowing the yard, weeding the flower beds, giving the dog a bath, you're probably gonna wear your grubbies, right? That mm -hmm. actually, your physical appearance truly aligns with your goals for the day. And if you're showing up, um, and, and I, I know this is different for everybody because I always think whenever I go to say this, I always think of Lindsay. Lindsay does a really great job of, of being in her PJs on the couch under a blanket running her business. It works for her. That is in alignment with her, right? But if you're discovering that, oh, I'm sitting on the couch, I'm in my grubbies or I'm in my PJs and I'm just not really moving forward, think about it. What do you need? I have got to have shoes on my feet. I know people are grossed out if you wear shoes in the house. If I am barefoot, or even in my socks, or sometimes even my flippies. I just, I'm not as productive. If I have my gym shoes on, I can do anything. I can go anywhere, I can do anything, I can take on the world. But I have, so I know that. So if you ever come to my house and my shoes are off at like 6 p.m., you know, oh, Tammy is done for the day. <laughs> She's done being productive. Rhonda says, today is not a day of alignment, but glad I got this Zoom focus shift away from the storm. Yes, well, your health and safety is a pretty big priority. So I feel like you're in alignment there. And you want to stay consistent with your business and you're on here today. You could have easily said, hey, guys, I'm in the path of a hurricane. I'm not going to be on the Zoom today, right? But here you are. So maybe you're more aligned than you think. Maybe you are more aligned than you think.
So I just, I, this is one of those topics where there is no right or wrong, right? And as your business changes, as the, even as the month goes, like, you know, sometimes in the, the first two weeks of the month, your business, you have a, a focus on new customers, new customers. And the last two weeks you have, let's get those new customers referrals, or let's go, you know, let's start sampling people. So your priorities are going to change, but you just have to know what is my priority today? And what is something I could do to get there? And also start, I mean, you guys, you all know the feeling I'm talking about where you're just not feeling it. You're just not feeling like you're doing great. You, and maybe you are, but you're not recognizing it, right? Like you're just in that funk and you're like, ugh, my last reel sucked. My, my customer said they hate the shape. Like you just start getting that, that moment. That's being wrapped up in the moment and being reactive. We want to be proactive at all times. Here's the thing. If your last reel sucked, but your goal is to make, to, to spread the word, you've already made a couple more reels. You don't even care anymore about that. If your customer was complaining about the shakes and you're not focused on your goal of adding new customers or spreading the word about people, you are going to get, you're going to, you are going to get sucked in so bad from that one person not liking the taste of a shake right? Instead of thinking, oh, that's a shame because I have seven new ones who are starting this week and they love it, right? It's keeping your eye on the prize. It's staying focused and being aligned. If your actions match your word, there's some famous quote from Gandhi. I should have looked that up. Something like when you're, when you're actually, when your words actually match or when your actions actually match your words, I forget, I'll have to Google it later, but um, it's like, it's like a level of peace, in your heart for whatever, whether it's your health, your business, your, your love life, whatever, when you're actually aligned with your goals, you just have this peace inside of you. So keep this close to your heart over the next 10 days or so. Think about the top three things that you said to us were your goals for your business and your personal life and start seeing how many, what am I doing every day? Am I really doing what I said is my goal. And if you, if you find out over and over and over and over and over that it's not happening, that's when you have to peel back the layer and go back and reset your goals, right? Cause maybe that's not truly your goal. Like I have people say to me, I'm going to get six new customers this week, but I never, they never put me in group chats with anybody. I never see any Facebook posts about why people should try thrive, but they're on every Zoom. So really their goal is community. They want to be tight knit with this community. They want to be uplifted by this community, right? Versus get six new customers. So if you're constantly like, oh, I'm not doing a good job. I'm not doing a good job. Well, think about what is the job that you really want to be doing. So anyway, with that, I'm off here. You guys, we have Lunch and Grow um, right now in one minute and then Corporate Call at One. Bye.